Hello everyone, Julian here. Welcome to the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars. I hope you are doing well. And today I have three very good sounding guitars as usual. I mean, we have only guitars that we love. Otherwise we wouldn't have them here and we wouldn't sell them. So that's why also I love every guitar, what I play. And it's really, very difficult to say anything negative about that guitars i'm just saying it because some of you are maybe wondering why i'm always talking very positive about these guitars because this is the fact and the first guitar of this week you will see it now the british guitar luthier philip woodfield philip woodfield is one of the most sought after british guitar luthiers who builds more modern sounding guitars and also this guitar is a lettuce braced guitar and uh, he has a very wa a long uh, waiting list so we are very happy to have a guitar of him here at Zika's Guitars again and this guitar is from 2018 it has the number 398 so he has built quite a lot of guitars and you can see that in the uh, craftsmanship and the work how well this guitar is built and this guitar has a spruce top and very beautiful African black wood it's amazing I would say let's see how the guitar sounds Fantastic sound. I mean, I personally love more um, or like more modern sounding guitars, modern in terms of round sound and powerful sound and guitars that are easy to play and guitars that respond very fast. And this is exactly that type of guitar. You have a very warm and round sound, very compact sound and very well balanced. And you have at the same time beautiful colors.
guitar gives you really everything. You have a very good sustain, very long sustain. You can play with the dynamic range, but at the same time, the guitar gives you a sound that you can work with and you don't have to try a lot to get a good sound of it. The good sound is straight away there from the beginning. And, but you have, of course, the possibility to change the colors and to play with the dynamic range. It's a really, really good guitar. Um, I think it's the first time that I'm playing a Philip Woodfield guitar and I'm very impressed. Wow. So let's move to the next guitar. The next guitar is made by the Italian guitar luthier Fabio Zontini. And this guitar is from 2022, but it's a brand new guitar. Very beautiful for my taste. And you have also some beautiful uh, decorations on this guitar. And the top of this guitar, I love it. It's a spruce top. And we have Madagascar rosewood back and sides. Also, the tuning machines are very beautiful. Um, if you want to see it in a more clear way, you can just visit our website and we have a lot of pictures of every detail of a guitar. And let's play a few notes on it. Wow, I love it. You can hear clearly the long sustain, a very bassy sustain. So you have a lot of uh, low range and mid range frequencies. So it sounds very full bodied. And at the same time, again, you have that beautiful Italian sound color. So, in this case, again, it's about the quality of the tone. Thank you. 
it's for me personally a very very enjoyable guitar to play it's very easy somehow and you can control the tone it responds very well and it has a very full body sound a 2022 fabio zontini wow congrats to fabio for this beautiful guitar and the last guitar of this week is made by the German guitar luthier Vincent Hummel from Germany, of course. And uh, okay, the city um, where his workshop is based is Chemnitz. And this guitar is brand new from 2023. It's a double top guitar with a shorter scale. It has a 64 centimeter scale and we have a cedar top and a very beautiful Madagascar rosewood back and sides. You have also some very fine and beautiful details or let's say decorations on the guitar, for example, on the bridge in the guitar rosette and also in the guitar head, you have the same type of um, design or texture. But let's see how the guitar sounds. A very good tone separation and clarity. This is the first thing what I noticed. Everything is very clear. It's like a, I mean, it's not the Hausa guitar, but it reminds me a little bit of um, of the great tone separation of a Hausa guitar. But of course, it has a completely different uh, construction. It's a double top guitar, so very interesting. And also the sustain is very good.
So as you can hear, it's a very good guitar in terms of the tone separation and the clarity. And even though it's a double top guitar, somehow um, I hear still a lot of traditional qualities in it. In terms of loudness, it's um, a double top guitar. It's very responsive and loud, but um, it has still that clarity and the uh, little bit of that Spanish vibe, Spanish sound in it. So it was also the last guitar of this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's weekly guitar meeting. And please don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment as you do it usual. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new to, the, to our YouTube channel of Zika's Guitars. Have a good weekend and see you next week.